Hello and welcome back to another episode of what's now a journeyman save because we have left Chelmsford as you've seen probably by the title and the thumbnail let's go meet the new team so as you can see we have joined Oxford United after our win of the National League South so we had a record of 80 wins 53 draws and 27 defeats while we we're at Ch Chelmsford which is also our career and of course the league title. Page will face pressure to bring immediate success to the Kassam Stadium, having stepped up from his previous standing to take sole charge, and will need to hit the ground running if he is to win over those who believe his appointment is a questionable decision. You'll see why it's a bit questionable in a moment. Russell Martin was considered the favourite for the job. It's unclear whether the club favoured Page all along. Chelmsford will of course now be looking for a new manager and a few members of my staff have followed me out of the club although not come to Oxford it should be noted. I earned myself a reputation for signing players under the age of 23 and appears to be a great fit for the club's current vision at Kassam Stadium. Prefers to use a 4-4-2 formation apparently. Page lifted the Vanarama National League South with Chelmsford in May and will now be afforded the chance to enhance his reputation by bringing success for the new club. And Oxford were relegated this season after finishing 24th in the championship. They've won two, lost two and drawn one of their last five matches. So obviously we are going to be heading down into League One for this new season. We've got a 12,000 seater stadium. Big upgrade from what we had down at Chelmsford. However, they are on quite a low budget. But decent transfer for a club that's struggling a little bit this is our best 11 at the moment so archer in goal long findley collins and Chirins and chris Enne. brannigan coventry dean murphy brown and ferguson there's quite a few players on loan until july and a few of them featuring in this best 11 actually so that is something that we're going to have to look at. Are we wanting to keep those guys on or are we wanting to bring in new loans or new players? The club want us to sign players under the age of 23 for the first team, play defensively solid football, direct football and counter-attacking. So that is what we're going to have to be doing. That might not suit us too much in our first year in League One. They only want a top half finish, however, which is quite strange, which... Is that a sign that they've been overachieving to get to the championship? Quite possibly. The supporters, however, contrary to the board, want us to play attacking football, but also play counter-attacking football. Make your mind up, guys. Um, entertaining football, direct football, again, they're a bit, bit contradictory. They do want us to get the better of our rival Swindon if we happen to play them. Be competitive against Reading and... The supporters are also wanting a top half finish. So we do have a few players unhappy at the moment. Brannigan who feels forced out of the club. And a few players who want to leave. Which is probably because we've just been relegated. I'll be going and speaking to them and seeing what I can do. There's probably some of them that we're going to want to keep on. We do need a new assistant manager. Because I got rid of the one that was already here. Because he wasn't very good at his job. We need a physio. And we need a director of football and some recruitment analysis as well. So there's quite a bit that we're going to need to do in the meantime. This is May, of course, when we've ended up joining. So in the league, of course, we know they're relegated. And it was quite convincing as well from the looks of it. What's that? 16 points away from safety. So not a great season for Oxford there. We'll have a quick look at the squad. So ability-wise, there's a mix of talent. Although, Gerardo, he's in on loan, but he's pretty good if we can convince him to stay on loan. But there's a lot of, uh, a lot of players who are only two-star. So I think players like Flanagan, I think he wants to leave. I'm not going to really be protesting that. Finances wise, as I say, 627,000 is our budget. We are currently over our wage budget. However, our committed spending is not. So we can work with that. I think what our plan is going to be is I'm going to go deal with the entire summer. And then we'll come back 
for the first game of the new season. We'll go through all our transfers, what we've done with the club, and I'll let you know what we're looking to do at the start of the new season. So for you, we'll be back in just a moment with all the transfers and the first game of the new season. For me, I'm going to go and get all that work done. So we are back now after the transfer window, ready for the first game of the new season. We've only really made the one sale in Ryan Loft to Notts County for £65,000, potentially rising up to £105,000. That is indeed our only sale. Incoming, we have Dawson Devoy, who's coming from Cambridge United for £195,000 as a midfielder. His was a deal that had already been agreed when we arrived, unfortunately. However, we've also bought in Kean Harrett as a striker on a free from Huddersfield. Niall Huggins from Sunderland. Viljami Sinisalo coming in from Aston Villa. Donald McNeely coming in on loan from Chelsea. We then have Dylan Williams, who's come in on a free transfer from Chelsea. Hugo Faria coming in on loan from Brentford. Tyler Fredrickson coming in on loan from Manchester United. Todd Kane coming in on loan from Rotherham. And Leo Fahidjid coming in on loan from Leicester. There's a number of centre-backs in there because that was the main place we needed strength. And we only had two main centre-backs when I first got into pre-season so looked into the free transfer market there wasn't a lot there looked into the loan market and as you can see we've bought in a few of those guys which has helped give us a bit more depth going into the new season we are predicted to finish seventh in league one so you've still got Derby and Wigan who are probably pretty strong teams at this level particularly Derby but hopefully I would think we can at the very least get it ourselves into the playoffs. It might be a little bit of a rebuild year, but we'll have to see how the season plays out. We do start it against one of our rivals, however, in Northampton. To start the season, we have got Sinisalo in goal, Long at right back, Fredrickson and Finley as centre backs with Williams at left back, Brannigan as the holding midfielder with Coventry in front of him and Davies in the middle as well. Brown on the right, Murphy on the left, and McNeely up front. Coventry with a free kick, sends it towards the far post. Fredrickson was there, but it's headed away from him. Brannigan is going to collect it and brings it forward down the right-hand side. Gets a cross in. McNeely is there, and he's put it into the back of the net. I thought for a moment it had actually come wide. And in our first game of the season, we reach half-time, 1-0 up. And it's been going pretty smoothly. Possession is level, but other than that, we seem to be leading in pretty much every statistic, which is very nice to see. Williams throws the ball short to Murphy. Back to Williams, who gets a cross in towards McNeely, but it's headed away from him. Swan collects it, but Finley quickly dispossesses him and Fredrickson out too long at right back, who's going to make a run down the right-hand side. Chance for a cross here. Whips one in, but it's headed away by Tomlinson. Back to long. Brown this time sends it in, McNeely turns and shoots and scores, it's 2-0. And McNeely is looking like a fantastic signing. Long on the ball here, plays it back to Brannigan and then Coventry back out to Long on the right-hand side. Back to Brannigan. I think the biggest challenge when you join a team that's just been relegated is dealing with the morale drop. Brown finds McNeely, it's a hat-trick on his competitive debut. He's been very good in pre-season as well, and he continues it here. As I was saying, I think the main thing when you get relegated is dealing with the morale drop of the relegation. But for the most part, we seem to be getting away with it at Oxford. They don't seem to be that low on morale anyway. And I think the people that were low, we've managed to ship out elsewhere. Couple of changes coming in now. Huggins is coming on at left back for Williams and Brannigan will come off for Spence. Coventry will drop back into the holding midfielder slot. Goodrum is going to come on for Murphy on the left hand side. We've got about five minutes to go now and it looks like we're going to see out a comfortable victory against Northampton. 3-0 through a McNeely hat-trick. What a way to start the season. Very good. Admittedly, Although it's a, also a derby, so that throws it a little bit all over the place. 
Northampton are one of the teams predicted to go down. But nevertheless, you can only be what's in front of you. And we've done that. So one game played in the season. We're top of the league. It's quite amazing that, like, out of, what, 12 games, only one of them ended up as, like, a free goal result. And a lot of them were one goal wins or draws. A surprising amount of draws, actually, on the first game of the season. Not for us to be concerned about, though. In the first round of the EFL Cup, we have drawn Bristol Rovers. In the EFL Trophy, we've got Eastleigh, Walsall and Tottenham under-21s in our group. So hopefully we can get a bit of a run in the EFL Cup. And I mean, if we've got the EFL Trophy, we might as well go for it. Why not? Unless we really need to concentrate on the league, then I think we might as well give it a good go and see what we can do. Would be nice to pick up another trophy if we can. I think what we'll do now is we'll come back. It depends how the EFL Cup goes. If we draw one of the big teams in the second or third round, we'll definitely come back for that. We'll probably come back for the third round anyway. Because it's likely to be where we're starting to play some tougher opposition. But if you have enjoyed that, please do leave a like down below. Let me know what you think we can achieve this season at Oxford United. Subscribe if you are enjoying the content and thank you very much for watching.